Thanks for doing this. Whatever. Let's keep this short. Are you busy? I'm always busy. Now's fine. Okay. First question. How do you feel about this artist-critic arrangement? You know, sharing the same brain. Does it work? Do you think it's impractical? I mean, if you're always busy, how do you find the time to write? I'm not the critic. You are. Yes. But we both know you contribute, which we could talk about because your contributions are kind of snarky. They're not snarky. They're decisive. I may not be as patient and articulate as you are, but I know crap when I see it. First of all, those were not my words. And we're not going to use words like crap in this video. Can you drop the phony attitude? We didn't just meet, you know. What attitude? You're the one with the attitude. You see how disruptive you can be? You tag along on my gallery rounds, whispering instant judgments in my ear when I'm trying to think. Your gallery rounds. Listen, buddy, I was making gallery rounds when you were a bad idea. Look, your input's welcome, but all I get from you are knee-jerk conclusions, thumbs up or down. They don't help. Help with what? Inventing issues? If Mr. Critic can't figure out what to say about a painting, maybe it's because there's nothing there worth writing about. A critic's job is to get beyond first impressions. It's a process. It's a creative process. Right. You make stuff up when you don't know what to say. No. I don't just make stuff up. An artist's work may be difficult to decipher. I might have to elaborate a bit. Like when you wrote that Ankawara's date paintings were like waving at a passing boat from the shore. What does that even mean? What I saw at that show was an artist with nothing to say and a critic trying to fill in the blanks. Well, you know, as bad as you make it sound, it's the way it works. I make observations, take notes, then reduce my thoughts to 800 words. You're going to go with reduce? You keep us up half the night, sweating your way to a 600-word minimum. Why do you even bother? We both know that half of what's shown in New York galleries is crap. Apparently, only one of us is honest enough to say so. Critics can't say things like that. Coming from a critic, a word like crap would sound petty and unprofessional. And you know, coming from you with your fair to middling resume, it sounds a bit jealous. That's a real cheap shot. Oh, is that too decisive for you? I've watched you seethe with an artist whose work you don't like gets a glowing review. Well, this may come as a shock to you, but I don't check my emotions at the door of an art gallery. Here's a question for you. Why can't Mr. Critic write an honest review of bad work? Because not writing about bad work is just lying by omission. I've written unflattering reviews, but courtesy matters in a public space. A critic's space is not the same as an artist's studio where anything goes. Anything goes sounds more like the bullshit you produce. Uh, can you, like, lower your voices, guys? Hold on. Why should I? Getting a little touchy, are we? The royal we doesn't work here. Actually, it does, but that's beside the point. No, it's very much the point. We are not a we. Okay, okay, calm down <clears throat> and drop the Mr. Critic stuff. It's getting on my nerves. Oh, I know it is. It exposes your pretensions. Artists are not pretentious. Seriously? Okay, define pretentious. Putting on airs or, or wait, give me a second. Professionals check their facts. I'll look it up. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, <clears throat> Attempting to impress by affecting greater importance or merit than is actually possessed. Do you see how pretentious you are? You went for the OED. Merriam-Webster's not good enough. Touché. Oh, you really can't help yourself, can you? It'll be French idioms next. Touché is French. You see, this is why I can't work when you're around. Well, that's too bad, because you know what? I was here first. This is a waste of time. It, it's, it's all good, all good. Please, just keep going. We'll try to wrap this up. Okay. <clears throat> what How can we agree on? I'll think and say what I want, and you'll deal with it. I mean, how do we improve our artist-critic relationship? What relationship? You want to be a critic? Knock yourself out. I have my own work to do. But if you insist on dragging me through lousy exhibitions, don't expect me to go along with everything I see. I see so much junk out there, it just doesn't make any sense to waste my time with it. You know, you go ahead and waste your time with it. I'm sorry. I really didn't think it would be this contentious. You think you could edit something useful out of it? Leave it alone. It's honest.